Can I score my first ever goal, guys? Look at that. Wow, guys. Look at this new goal I just scored for my new settings. Look at that. Yeah, hello, and welcome back to another video. This will be the best Rocket League settings 2021 known to man. Well, or, or, or woman. Or they, or he, she. I don't have time for pronouns, but what I will, what I do have time for is this video. So, <laughs> gameplay settings, the two most important things on this page are unlimited boost and free play. It's very self explanatory. I keep it on, I like unlimited boost, I like to ball chase. Input buffer is quite important. Default, that leaves it down to the game, which is awful because it's an awful game. You want STS if it's good internet you're playing on. You want CSTS if it's bad internet you're playing on. So in my case, it's awful. Camera. Get this shit unticked. You're going to play like 2015 fucking bronze ones. I mean, what was it? Challenger? No, that's gold. Prospect was silver. And what was bronze? I just can't remember. It was too long ago. Anyway. Jokes aside, it weren't a joke. Field of view. 110. Has to be. However, some do use 8 and 9. I don't fancy 8 and 9. 110 has to be almost a guaranteed. These are my settings as it goes. There'll be a few criterias I cover. For example, distance. 260, 280. Between them, I like 270 because I like it. Height, same thing. 90 to 110. That's what most people use. I say stick between these. Height and angle interchange. So for example, if you don't know what that means... A low height means a higher angle, a higher height means a lower angle. For example, you don't have to do what I'm doing here, I'm just saying. Between 90, 110 for height, and between minus 5 to minus 3 for angle, I'd say stay within. I like 100 minus 3, I like 100 minus 5, whatever you like, you experiment with. Um, I do like these. Stiffness, very important. When you, this is how far you zoom out when you're going supersonic. As you can see, my car's very far away from the screen here. If I just drift, look, I'm veering off to the right here. And then, likewise, I'm veering to the left here. However, 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 people, if I'm on one stiffness, I'm a rock solid. <laughs> I'm centre of the screen at all times. As you can see, I'm drifting, still centre. When I'm zooming, supersonic, don't zoom out at all. So, you can get more consistent hits, I'd imagine. I'd imagine. I prefer somewhere in the middle. 45 does me well. So we'll speed. It's how quick your right stick moves. Look at that. Might give you a headache if you look at it too long. I'm not trying to do that. I keep it around the middle again. That's always done me well. Transition speed is when you press triangle for ball cam. How quick it switches. Obviously, I'd say if you have it on two, that's breakneck speed. So you can't really do anything to see what's going on. So I'd say 1.5 maximum, but I like 1.2. Invert swivel, move your stick to the left, it goes to the right, which is confusing, so I just like it. So if I go right, it goes right. Controller settings are important. Dead zone settings are important. Sensitivity settings are important. This is what I use. I like 1.3, 1.3. Most pros do have this, 1.5. 0 0.05, sorry, 1.3, 1 1.3. You can use 1 1.2, 1 1.2, 0 0.10. They're, they're fairly consistent settings. They're like for more safe settings where if you're not the best, you can use them to not miss the ball. I know Astral, Justin, Ahmed use like really high senses like around here, around just shy of two. But no, keep it, keep it solid. Just keep it solid, boys. I'll tell you. I'd recommend these. 0 0.05 for controller dead zone, 1.3, 1.3 will do you nicely. I just like 0 0.03 because I get away with the stick drift, my controllers are all right, and yeah, I just feel smooth with these. Uh, controller vibration disabled. Mechanics, more consistent, doesn't jitter, I can control my car. Just like it off, obviously, most people, if you're, especially if you play shooting games, you're probably used to vibration, probably keep it on. I like it off, that's a personal one. Camera toggle, you don't want hold, because hold, what that does, you have to hold triangle, just for ball cam, and when you're playing a game, there's an extra button to hold, and that's not the best idea. Push to talk, the game chat shit on this game, doesn't mean anything. However, control settings, these are important. I've got drive forward, drive backwards, jump, all the same. I recommend, 
my personal opinion, a boost to your L1 or R1. I've got L1, it doesn't matter. But if your boost is L1, R1 should be power slide and normal air roll. Or if boost is R1, power slide and normal air roll should be L1. Vice versa. I think that's the best, uh, just, you know, best uh, combination for like chain dashes and like shit like that. It just, I just, very clean once you get used to it. Arrow right on square. I don't use left. But arrow right square is good for half flips. All you have to do for a half flip now is back flip, hold down square, and you're, you're over. But there you go. Nice and simple. Scoreboard circle, reset shot circle, and that's about it. Interface, only two, two, three things on this, nameplate scale 200, that means you can see them from far away and they're big so you can kind of judge if you're going to beat them or not better than you would if they were default on 100, so I like 200. Nameplate mode, I like default so you can always see their name, if, if it's on nearby only you only see them when they're close, simplified is just like an arrow, I like their whole name at all times. Um, time updates only, this is a massive one. If it's on all, you take a shot to the backboard, it says shot on goal in your massive face, you can't read the bounce because it's just popped up, it's awful. Time updates only, obviously, 30 seconds remaining, it tells you that. You want to know when you're, how much time you have left, come on, it's a game, that's not bad. Metric, miles per hour, kilometers an hour, whatever you prefer. I just like miles because I'm uh, like Imperial, because I'm English. Uh, effect density, I actually don't really know what this is. I'm not gonna lie, but if you're on console, vertical sync has to be off because if it's on, you probably can't see gameplay wise, but it's very input laggy and it makes you play slow. On ticket, there might be minimal screen tear, screen tearing, sorry, but the mechanics you can do compared to it off are better because you can air roll faster, move faster, more sensitive, faster player. These three make me lag, I like them off. Transparent goalposts somehow changes the textures on the outside of the pitch. I don't know how, but yeah, they're on. They have to be on. They're important. Audio, music on all times. That's about it. I've got lots of ambient crowd shit to piss me off. Off chat, you can have what chat you want. That's pretty much the end of the video. I just haven't missed much. Here you go, just to see them again. Camera, controls, interface, and gameplay. I think that's the end of the video. I've done well with that. I'm happy with that. Anyway, boys, that in 2021 has been the best settings known to man or woman or anything of the kind. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video.